so I had Reflectix covering this back window above the bed all winter. Um, it was just too drafty, too cold behind your head at night, so I went ahead and put up the Reflectix and I just took it down because I figured this would probably happen. But if you can see, I'm pretty sure that is a little bit of mold. Um, probably, I guess, from the moisture, you know, being pushed out from the window and then being trapped behind the Reflectix. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean it with bleach and I'm going to have to take down all my other, all the other Reflectix I have in other places like under the couch and in the closet. Pain in the ass! Okay, so I washed down the walls that were looking pretty moldy. Now they look a lot better, but I've opened up a can of worms because now I feel like I have to wash down all the walls in the bedroom. But I'm going to start removing the Reflectix in the closet and seeing what's under there. I'll update you in a second here. Okay, we've got bare closets here. I've taken all the clothes out. Um, it's a little dark in here, so I'm using my flashlight. But I'm going to try and remove these and see if there's any mold on the walls at all. Um, of course, I stapled them on here because I thought maybe I'd leave them. But after seeing the mold behind the window, yeah, I'm a little worried. So I'm just going to go ahead and start peeling this off and see what's underneath. Yep. That's looking like some mold. So what I've learned from this is <laughs> to, if you're going to use it in the winter, definitely remove it every spring because I wouldn't want to know, it. I just wouldn't want to know that that's behind there. So I'm definitely going to be removing all the Reflectix I've put up in the camper um, before the winter. <laughs> So all the Reflectix has been removed from the closet and you can see this is what the walls look like. That's mold. It's not horrible. I know it'll wash right off with some bleach, but you know, a lot of people are using Reflectix in their rigs and some people are even leaving it there year round. Um, I wouldn't trust to, not by the looks of this. So the closet's got a good wipe down with bleach. Um, there are some staples here. I have to go ahead and get some pliers and pull those out. But I would have to say that next winter I'm definitely not going to put Reflectix in the closets because mold happens. The moisture gets trapped in behind them and yeah, you saw what, uh, what it did. So, I mean, I might put it in the window here for next winter because so much draft comes through there, but I might try and just make it fit in the actual window, not not place it all around um, where the drafts can create mold. Okay, so up here, this top shelf, that is another place where I had Reflectix. Um, there were a bunch of clothes up here, I just took them down. So let's see what it looks like in behind here now. Hmm. Not looking as bad as the closet look. Until, well, a little here, it actually gets a little worse with mold. So yeah, more scrubbing of more walls. And more removal of staples.
So the cupboards above have been cleaned of mold. Looking a lot better, of course, than they were. So, under the jackknife sofa, this is the last place that I had put up some Reflectix. Uh, it's pretty hard crawling under here and putting it up, so I can imagine it's going to be pretty hard crawling under here and tearing it down. Alright, so I ripped down the last little bit of Reflectix um, that was stapled against the wall under the jackknife sofa. And that little piece there is just kind of shoved in where there's a hatch there that you can open up to store things under the coach. And I think I'm just actually going to leave that there. It's not against any wood, so I can't... And I checked in behind it. There's no mold or anything in that spot. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there uh, so no drafts come through that hatch. Um, but like I said, the inside of the hatch is just kind of like a... I'm not even sure what the material is, but it's not wood, so I'm not worried about any mold there. I'm just going to leave that there for now. All right, so I've gotten the last of it off the wall back here. Like I said, I'm leaving that there, but my suggestion would be that if you have an RV, do not staple it to the walls or... I don't know, lay it up against anything other than windows, because when you remove it, you can just easily clean those. But if you're going to be stapling it to walls and things like that, you're going to you're gonna have mold probably to deal with. I mean, I haven't seen any mold on this, um, but I'm going to wipe it down anyway, because the walls in the bedroom obviously were painted and I could see the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a clean anyway, but like I said, I wouldn't advise stapling it to any wood surfaces or the walls, but definitely if you can cut it to fit in places like this, like the hatch, or in your windows. And like I said, in the spring when you remove it, um, they're a lot easier to clean.